Hi students, um, this is Miss Lucas and welcome to your very first drawing and design studio. I will be recording these videos um, you know, for each new concept that I teach you and then I want you to try this at home. So, um, The first thing that we're going to talk about today, because it's our very first drawing studio, is setting up your studio. Now it might seem a little bit silly because I know a lot of your your guys, your studio is your kitchen table, or your studio is your bedroom. Um, not many of you, I think, have an actual studio in your house. That's okay. <laughs> That's not a requirement for my class. However, um, you can make a regular living space into a studio. For instance, I'm sitting here in my room. I have um, a very comfy chair. I've got good lighting. That's important to create art. Um, usually I'll put on some music. Uh, it's usually classical because it, you know, allows me to have some background noise, but not enough that it's distracting. Sometimes I'll watch TV. Um, if I really want to focus, I listen to music. So, um, setting up your studio is important. Also, um, setting up your studio, you want to make sure you have all of your art supplies handy. And nothing's like, you know, if a lot of times you need a lot of stuff. You know, for for my class mostly, you'll just need a sketchbook, and you'll need a um, you know your a piece of paper, a pencil, and what you're drawing, obviously. So um, you do need to look at your object. So the once you have all that together, then you can start. It doesn't really help to create a piece of art if you have to keep you know getting up and getting other things and you know kind of disrupting the creative process. So. Right now, I've got my object, I have my sketchbook, and I have my pencil. So if you guys are ready, which you don't have a choice, <laughs> then um, we will start. So if you are going to do this along with me, which I would recommend, then pause my video, go get your stuff, and come back. Remember, object, paper, pencil. Alright guys, so I set up my little art studio and I'm trying to make sure that you can see my paper really well. So um, I have my objects. I chose a teacup. Now I had a couple other things that I was going to pick, but the reason that you want to pick you know, something like this, it doesn't have to be a teacup, but something like this is you want it to be, right when we're starting out, you want it to be clear lines. Um, clear, simple, easy to see lines. So I picked this teacup. I've, I've included a photo for you guys um, on what I see. But, I mean, you could pick something like, hang on, let me see, see if the camera can see it, an apple. Um, I wouldn't, I mean, even though eventually we might get there, I don't want you to pick anything like a vase of flowers or, um, you know, a complex scene of cups and bottles and um, or books. I want you to pick something, like one object. I picked a teacup with a saucer. Now the reason that I picked this also is you, you you want it to be simple, but you don't want it to be really, really boring. I don't want you guys to pick like a bouncy ball that has no color on it, it's just a circle. Because then, then this activity would be really super boring for you. Um, it's got to be kind of an in-between between not too boring and not too complicated. So I picked this teacup. What a blind contour drawing is, is when you draw the object, but you don't look at your paper. You're focusing your eye just on the object. Now I can see I've got a, a line here, a line here, a line here, and a line here. Yesterday you should have done the activity where you viewed the, the video online. Today we're, c we're focusing on line. So um, a blind contour drawing trains your eye to look at the look at the object, look at, at your subject and um, and kind of train your hand to go with it. So what we're going to do is you're going to have your object 
you're going to draw it five times without looking at the paper. Now, if you think this is going to turn out funny, it is. It's definitely going to turn out funny. But the intention is, is that as you go along, your fifth drawing should be better than your first. You should be training your eye well enough that um, they kind of improve. So I'm going to pick a point visually to start on my object. I'm going to pick this right here. It's the corner of the lip, and then I'm going to come back to that point and start to do the handle. So kind of map out your little plan and go for it. So I've got my pencil on my paper, and once my pencil is poised, I'm not going to look at my paper anymore. Don't cheat, because then you won't be learning. You're training your hand. Okay. Ready? Now you guys can make fun of me at home when I'm not doing this very well. I'm just using a regular pencil for this. Okay. That's not that bad, actually. Okay, so this is my first attempt. It's kind of not that bad. Now, don't look, because I, I almost looked right at the beginning. I can tell, because this line is super spot on, I uh, kind of cheated. Don't cheat. I did it on accident, I swear. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. I hope you can see my paper all right. I'm gonna send, I'll, I'll send a picture of it when I'm all done. Okay, so... I'm looking just at the object, not my paper. And now I see, after further looking at it, there's this little lip at the bottom of the cup. <laughs> now, if you're saying, Miss Lucas, why does it look like a kindergartner drew my picture? It's because it's supposed to. Kindergartners haven't yet developed their hand-eye coordination or their spatial awareness, as we call it, with drawing. So, it is going to look like a kindergartner drew it. And that's okay, because you're learning. Okay, now I can already tell on my second drawing that they're getting a little bit better. Boom! Alright, that one looks pretty good too. Now I'm on number four. I'm going to pick it from a different spot this time and see how I do. That's okay if my lines cross over. See? Do you see how it's getting a little bit better every single time? Let me see if I turn on this light, if you'll be able to tell. Hang on. Too bright? Or just bright enough? Okay. Getting a little bit better. I'm going to do our last one. No, so you should see, this this drawing homework that I'm I'm causing you to have will only take a few minutes. Now don't pick a teacup. When you scan these into me, I don't want to see everybody having a teacup. Okay, now again, a little bit better. So I'm going to number these, and I want you guys to number them too. One, two, three, four, five. Now I want you to write your name on it. Alright, Miss Lucas. There you go. Now, um, we're training our eyeball. So, 
basically what we're going to do is I'm, I'm teaching observational drawing so the very first thing that we did was kind of learn um, we're, we're, we're training our eyes and then we're going to learn line and then slowly we'll build into things like a value and perspective and I promise you that you are going to grow from this class you're going to learn some things some new things um, about drawing you're going to develop your your visual your visual skills and um, hopefully you guys will get a little bit more of an interest in, in drawing but yeah I want you guys to and again I'm not gonna check for these until um, Sunday or Monday but I want you guys to just do this quick little um, activity and then send send it scan it and send it to me or take a picture if your scanner doesn't work but number them one two three four five write your name on it first and last and um, don't worry I'll type this up for you um, so you don't have to watch the video to understand what I require of you but um, yeah and tomorrow we're gonna do continuous line so I'll do another one of these videos for you guys alright